Now let's talk about a new feature to Mari 2.0 that's uh, pretty handy. It's the shared layer feature. It's also, you can also share channels, but I'm just going to go through the layer uh, portion of it and it kind of carries over. So once you see it once, you can kind of get an idea. So we're going to create a new layer and I'm going to say I want to create a logo for this. And I just want to put it down at the base of the blade. And I'm going to put this Mari logo here, like so. I'm going to bake it. And now I have a nice logo. Now, as you can see, it's in my Layers tab within my Color Development channel. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I can use this in other development channels that I have already created. So for instance, let's, uh, for argument's sake, let's put it into the specular map. Uh, and I want to be able to share it and link it. So whatever I do in my color map, it'll directly link and translate to what is in my spec map. So I'm going to open up this stack here. That's going to be the spec dev stack. And this shows you all the layers within the spec development channel. And then I'm going to go to this logo here, shift control, and drag it over into my spec dev, which is right here. I'm just bring it, bring it to the top, like so. Now, if I go to my spec dev channel, you can see that there it is. So I'm going to create a layer mask and say I want to eat into this layer mask here. Just get a little bit of weathering, like so. Now, if I go back to my color development channel, you can see that it updates and it links directly to my spec dev. So this can be a really handy feature if you want to keep layers consistent and changes that you make in your color development channel um, you want to make sure that it stays consistent with whatever you're doing in your secondary maps. So I just want to give you a quick overview of that. I think it would be pretty handy for some of you. And uh, there it is.